It's a world away from where the decision makers are, but that doesn't stop the people here from asking for a bit of divine intervention. They're from a town near one of the three ancient cities in central Myanmar and regard a UNESCO heritage listing as an honor. There are many cultural relics and religious buildings in this old city. The three ancient cities are part of the Pew Kingdom, which existed for about a thousand years, starting from around the first century. Its people started trading with India around the fifth century, which led to the spread of Buddhism throughout Southeast Asia. Not much is known about the Pew. We know they lived in big cities enclosed by high walls. They built a sophisticated system of irrigation, and they spoke a language that's now extinct, but closely related to the Myanmar language. Archaeologists working at Sri Ketra, the biggest of the three cities, believe they may have uncovered only about 20% of it. The importance of the Pew sites is that they are rare and unique examples of the urbanization of society from that era. Experts want the areas protected something a UNESCO World Heritage status would offer. The territory of urban area is fragile. We are always submitted to great pressure. And in a very quick time, we can have a disaster because all the huge areas can disappear very quickly. But Sri Ketra, at least, has staunch protectors. People who live in Pi, the town nearest to the site, set up a heritage trust in the 1950s. Funded and staffed by volunteers, the trust also runs a museum and helps ensure the artifacts remain in Myanmar, sometimes by buying back items sold on the black market. The cities of Pew existed more than 2,000 years ago. It is the history of our forefathers. It may be of little interest to some people, but we want to preserve it. A World Heritage listing would help bring in funds and technical know-how for that conservation. But more than that, it would give a sense of pride to the people and tell them their history is worth preserving. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Sri Ketra, Myanmar.